Hi everyone, I'm back again for another reading for my new book, Approach Without Caution, Five Pillars to Take Control of Your Life. A lot of you love the introduction. This is out on the 5th of January. It's available as an audio book, which I'm reading. There are some signed copies available at WH Smith. It's all about dealing with uh, and taking responsibility to change your life, your own mental health, your, your recipe for success, um, You know how to get over issues, how to utilize social media, and also a social commentary on the mad world we're living in at the moment now. This part is entitled Ego versus the Everyman. Knowing who you are and what you're made of, the things you stand for and the values you uphold are all key elements that form your identity. People with a strong sense of self are comfortable and can communicate with anybody. It's very different from a person with a big ego where you need to put others down to feel good about yourself or get constant reassurance that you're the man. When a big ego meets an everyman, a person at home in their skin, the big ego feels threatened. After all, the everyman doesn't need to talk about themselves, is curious about hearing other stories and doesn't seem to need a flash car or to tell everyone how minted they are. You get the impression they could be airdropped in anywhere, from Trench Sound to Tallahassee, and they would thrive. When you know the way the brain works and how easily the chimp gets frenetic and how the ego makes you act, you're well on your way to becoming the everyman. You need to recognise your triggers, what it is that is likely to rile you and ensure that you make time to consider before you react. It's a practice of taking back control and becoming better versions of ourselves. I wish at the start of my rugby career I'd known what I know now. I wouldn't have spent so much time of it crippled with self-doubt or taking negative comments so badly. I had to learn the hard way how to deal with this and I want to share this with you so maybe you won't have to. Don't get me wrong, I have not always been positive and in control and I still have work to do. I'm everything but the finished article. The tools that I give you are not about stopping you ever having doubts. They're all about getting you back on track so you can refocus and crack on. Every day I see people making excuses, blaming everything and everyone but themselves for their lack of success or happiness. I read a brilliant article the other day that focused on successful people. Most of them had had tragic things happen to them, like a parent dying when they were still kids or they were ill themselves. Some grew up in abject poverty. Some had risen up against their disability and still triumphed. All of them had been in a desperate place, but something in them decided they were not going to be a victim. And despite the bad cards life had dealt them, they were determined to prevail. And the thing that they were missing became their driver, their engine to succeed. If you want more from Approach Without Caution, it's out on the 5th of January. Get it in all bookshops. There are some signed copies still available. All the links are in my video, uh, or with this video, or in my bio. I'd love to hear back from you, Chloe's cooking. We have an absolute feast in the background. I'll catch you all soon.